But we begin with developing news tonight. A local student shot in the head in class. Three other students hurt and hundreds of students and parents terrified. All because a 12-year-old girl brought a gun to school. Hello, everybody. I'm Elsa Ramon. And thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jeff Vaughn. The suspect in that school shooting now faces criminal charges. KCAL 9's Tom Wade is live in the Westlake District with details on where she is now. Tom. And Elsa, Jeff, where she is now is Juvenile Hall facing a very serious charge. And take a look behind me. The classroom where this all happened, well, there are still police here and cleaning crews on the scene. They're trying to get things back to normal here for the kids. We've now learned that even though this gun may have been brought here on purpose, firing it off may be unintentional. An eerie calm on the campus where a 12-year-old girl and her gun sent students and teachers running for their lives this morning. Police and paramedics swarmed the school when the call came out at 8.55. Ambulance shooting just occurred, possible one shot fired, one student hit, an additional student possibly hit. The LAPD now says it appears the shooting was unintentional, but the young suspect is still facing a charge of negligent discharge of a firearm. According to one of her classmates, the 12-year-old kept saying, I did didn't mean it after the gun went off. He says she told him the gun was in her backpack and that it went off when she dropped the bag. Witnesses described the horrific scene. He was leaning like crazy and he he kept like telling everyone that was in there, like all the adults, like if he was dying. This woman says her daughter was in the classroom where the shooting happened. She just mentioned blood, she mentioned two kids, that's all I know. A total of five people were injured. A 15-year-old boy was shot in the head. He was critical but is now stable and expected to survive. Another 15-year-old girl was also hit, shot in the arm, also expected to be okay. An 11, 12-year-old and 30-year-old school staffer suffered some superficial face and head injuries. The big question now is how did the 12-year-old get the gun and manage to sneak it onto campus. The majority of the weapons that our young people get their hands on today is a result of a weapon they get at home or from a family member's home. This is a very important call to action to every adult in our community who has a gun. You must store it safely. And right now, district officials are telling us that they do have counselors on the scene here to make sure that everyone, all of the students are taken care of. Classes are back in session as normal tomorrow. Reporting live in the Westlake District, I'm Tom Waite. Back to you in the studio. Okay.